New at 6, a study by the University of Georgia may give city leaders a better way forward for the Savannah Fire Department. And it could help one of Savannah's greatest assets. WJCL's Leander Larson has more on what's next. This is the document that's about 160 pages and covers a wide range of topics. The city cut close to $650,000 from Savannah Fire's 2019 budget. Now more changes could be on the way. In November, the city cut Engine 16 and its fireboat to focus on land-based emergencies. Now that boat may be coming back. The study group says with the Savannah River in our city, having a water rescue company is needed. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that we need a marine unit, so it's not surprising that the report uh, suggests that we bring the marine unit back. We are one of the busiest ports in the country. Um, we are the only trained people to do shipboard firefighting um, in this area, so it only makes sense that we have a marine unit capable of being able to do that type of call, as well as the, any type of water rescue call. In the study, there were other recommendations made to save the city money, including losing another truck. During our interview today, one of the engines that was recommended to be cut actually went out to battle a structure fire. Officials say that truck gets over 1,300 calls a year. We reached out to the city of Savannah for comment on the study, but officials were not available for an on-camera interview. It is, however, on the agenda for tomorrow's city council workshop. Reporting in Savannah, Leandra Larson, WJCL 22 News.